guys welcome back to my channel and today I'm gonna to hit you guys with my favorite hair care products who doesn't love great hair care so I have always struggled with hair care products I dyed my hair a lot especially starting at a young age I've been blonde I've had red hair you name it so now I'm trying to take the best care of my hair as I possibly can. So I'm going to share with you guys a variety of products that I personally use on a daily to take care of my hair. I wouldn't rave nor share products with you guys that I didn't personally use nor love. Unless I told you that I didn't like them. But anyways, so like I said, there's a variety ranging from, you know, higher end, drugstore, um, and also a new care hair care product that I personally have been loving and I will share more details about that company later on in this video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below and I will do my best to respond to you guys. Um, I'm always going to give you my honest opinion. It might work great for me, it might not for you. So this is just what my personal hair care favorites are. And yeah, and all the products that I will show you guys and their description and whatnot will be also listed in the description box below. So yeah, I'll just get started. So if you guys are interested to see what my favorite hair care products are, keep on watching. Okay, to start out for my favorite hair care products, I feel like you should have a decent shampoo and conditioner combo. So one of my favorite drugstore um, shampoo and conditioner product combos are the... Um, Matrix Biolage. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. And they look like that. So um, I have the Volume Bloom Shampoo. And that's what I use for my shampoo when I choose drugs, the drugstore row. And for the conditioner, I choose the Hydrosource Detangling Solution Conditioner. And that looks like that. I also love how these products smell. I am a sucker for products that smell really good. I personally love very floral or musky scents. So these are a little bit more on the floral side, but I do love them. And I like this combo together because I do love my hair pretty like voluminous. Like for the most part, you will never see my hair like clean cut, silk smooth back. No, that's not me. I like it messy, a little rougher around the edges, you know, your typical bedhead look. And I do need some help with the volume. So that's why I use this shampoo. And because I have done so much to my hair, my hair is pretty damaged. So I did cut it a while back, I want to say like two years ago, to kind of give myself a fresh start. But I did cut it and I did dye my hair blonde. So kind of counterproductive. But now that I'm back to my dark roots, I'm trying my best to maintain it as best as I can. And I have been loving this conditioner. And like I said, it smells good and it doesn't leave my hair super oily. Um, I do have a pretty oily scalp. I do wash my hair about like every other day and sometimes I can get away with like two days. Three days, I'm really pushing it. Sometimes I have gotten lucky with another um, hair care product line that I've also been using. But yeah, so this combo is one of my favorite drugstore ones. They are a little pricey for your typical drugstore. Um, like at Walmart or Target, I see them and they're like the mini bottles or thinner bottles. I don't know how many fluid ounces or whatnot that is, but they're like about 16 bucks. And I get these big sizes at Cosmoprof and they're like 13. So yeah, I mean, if you guys have access to a Cosmoprof or you know someone who can get that for you, I would highly, highly recommend it. So moving on to my next favorite shampoo conditioner combo are these bad boys as you can see i've gone through them quite a bit i'm like running super low on the conditioner i need to order and stock up on some more and yeah so this company is called monet i personally love this company i got introduced to it i want to say towards the end of july and i've been loving it ever since like i mentioned before i have super oily hair or an oily scalp and damaged hair so i personally really love the soothing shampoo and the Soothing Deep Conditioner. I also have another favorite combo, but I did run out, so I don't have them to show you guys. Um, maybe in my next favorites video, I will share them with you. But if you do want to contact me and inquire about this company, feel free to email me on my business email that's in my description box below. 
and or comment down below and I will definitely love to give you guys a full, you know, rundown of these products and this company. But yeah, so like I said, I have, I guess, wavy hair. I wouldn't say curly. Like naturally, it's um, wavy and it can be straight but super frizzy. So I feel like that's due to the damage as well. So these products have been really helping. And like I've said, with these products, I've been able to get away with only having to wash my hair. No joke, guys. Like, I would go three days without washing my hair. And that's a lot for me. Because like I said, I usually wash my hair every other day. So I'm pretty happy when I can get away with, like, every two days. So yeah, I definitely recommend these products. I do know or have heard that the Kardashians, I guess, have been using these products as well. Um, I love them because they're all natural products and honestly, I can't even tell you about the difference that I've seen in my hair. The only um, reason I honestly started to use these bad boys again is because I was running super low on these. Like I said, I love them both, but if I had to pick, I would definitely stick with my Monet. The next products that I'm going to show you guys are some like I guess say deep conditioning treatments. One of my go-to ones that I've been loving for I want to say at least the last six months is the Silk Secrets Virgin Coconut Hot Oil Treatment and that looks like this. So this guy my mom got me when she went to the Philippines last February so I've been loving this. This is probably my second or third tub of this. Um, I honestly do this every day I shower and wash my hair. So I'll put my shampoo, my conditioner, and then I will comb out my conditioner with a wide tooth comb. And then I'll put this in my hair, especially in the roots area because that's, you know, where all the damage is. And then I just let that sit and soak in my hair while I shower, um, wash myself, wash my face, do all of that. And I personally do love the smell of coconut. So if you guys aren't a big fan of coconut, I wouldn't recommend that treatment. But I do. So it does tend to leave my hair smelling like coconut the rest of the day. And yeah. So but I have noticed such a difference, you guys. Like my ends, when I don't wash it, they won't be dry and brittle or super frizzy. So I do love that hot oil treatment. My next favorite product is my... Um, Matrix Biolage Hydrosource um, Daily Leave-In Tonic, which is for your dry hair and what I use to detangle my hair. So it's out of the same line as the conditioner, the drugstore conditioner that I showed you guys. And like I said, I love the smell of this stuff and it really does, you know, help me comb through my hair when it's like super looking dry. I just spritz it throughout and brush it and it's good to go. And after the shower, or I do tend to tease my hair a lot, so when I spray this and then comb out my hair, I don't feel like I'm damaging my hair as much. So I think it's important that everyone has some sort of detangler or, you know, this is a daily leave-in tonic just to help hydrate your hair. Okay, next moving on to my favorite leave-in conditioner. I would definitely recommend my Restore Leave-In Conditioner from Monet. I use this bad boy every single day I shower, guys. I do not miss this step. Whenever I get out of the shower and I let it air dry for the most part, I will put two or three pumps. You honestly don't need that much, but I, I'm sorry, guys. I'm bad. I tend to overuse products. That's just me. But And I know I do. I'm guilty of it. Anyways, so yeah, I pump like two to three pumps of this in my hand and I run it through my ends and through my hair. It smells amazing, so I think that's what kind of gets me too. And my hair does not feel all dry and brittle after it dries. Like, that's the worst feeling when I don't blow dry and then it has that, like, dry consistency later on in the day. So I've been using this and I've noticed such a difference. It doesn't leave my hair super oily or greasy. I do, like, judge it, if that's the right word, through, like, the top of my hair to kind of, like, flip it through when I put it on. But I don't, like, really work it into the roots. I kind of try to focus it on the ends. Next, my favorite hair oils, which I feel like are such an essentials. I have two here, one being more drugstore 
and one being a little bit more on the higher end side. For the drugstore one, I use the Paul Mitchell Super Skinny Serum, which I'm sure you guys have all seen and heard about. I do love how this smells. It kind of smells like watermelon to me. I don't know if that's just me. I do see these at Target, Ulta, and all of that, but I do get mine again at Cosmoprof. It has lasted me a long time. You only literally need one pump, especially for my hair. I think my hair is like right above my boobs, something around that right now. Not too sure, a little bit past. Sorry, yeah, my hair is up today because I went to Pilates and just threw it up. I have an eyelash client later on today. So yeah, but anyways, I like to do the hair oil after I do the um, leave-in conditioner. So I'll put the leave-in conditioner, then I'll do a pump of that Paul Mitchell hair oil and just run it through my ends. I definitely don't put it into my scalp because then I know it'll definitely get oily. But yeah, so that's what I do with that product. Or if I don't use that, I've been using my Rejuvenique um, hair oil by Monet. And it looks like this. I hope this is focusing. But yeah, one, I love the packaging of this because when I first got it, I didn't know how to use it. Like, you open it, and it's like a little dropper. So it looks like that. And literally, this much, this amount is literally all you need. And I just run that through the same thing through my ends. And I can also, also run it through my, like, not my through my roots, but like more towards the top of my hair, unlike the Paul Mitchell one because this one for sure does not make my hair greasy or oily. And I also, like I said, the Monet products smell amazing. So I run that through. And the cool thing about this, guys, I personally haven't tried it, but I have other girls that I know have said they've used this oil on their face as a serum as well, and it's helped eczema, it's helped acne-prone skin. So definitely, if I would say to recommend any product by Monet, it would be this bad boy right here. Next, I'm going to talk about my absolute favorite um, sea salt spray or beach wave spray. I cannot live without beach wave spray because ever since I want to say I want to say like the last three or four years I stopped straightening my hair every day. Growing up in middle school, especially high school and a little bit of the beginning of college, I was notorious for fully straightening my hair every single day, which damaged the hell out of it on top of all the dyeing and whatnot. So now, on days that I'm just, you know, running around doing errands, lounging, or nothing like too special occasion-y, I will go ahead and spray my hair with the coconut water sea salt spray. I absolutely love this stuff. I have never come across another Beach Wave spray that I love as much as this one. So this one, it smells, once again, like coconut. I, like I said, I love coconut, so if you don't, this is not for you. But it does scrunch. I love that scrunched haired look, so it does it instantly. So my hair will be on the damper side, and I'll just spritz it through and scrunch it up, and it'll stay all day. I love it. I love the way that it scrunches where it's not too crispy that it like, it just, uh, I don't even know how to explain it. I wish my hair was wet so I could show you guys. But yeah, this stuff works and it holds its like scrunch. Even when it's dry, when my when I just didn't wash my hair that day, I can spritz it through a little bit and it'll still give it a nice little scrunch without that like hard crispy look because okay, now that is not cute. Okay, I got four more products left for you guys and three different categories. Hey guys, sorry, my camera died on me. So as I was saying, my next favorite hair care product is the Monet Blowout Cream, and it looks like this. I never used to really blow dry my hair until like literally this month. So with that being said, I've been using this to protect my hair and to help kind of like give my hair this sort of like flawlessness and shine that I've never like experienced ever before. So I also put this in my hair too before I straighten my hair, which I do more frequently, um, just to protect my hair. And like I said, it gives that nice voluminous like bounce to my hair. If only I could show you right now, maybe I'll do a tutorial on how to use some of these products. If you guys, if that is a video you guys would be interested to see, give this video a thumbs up and I will have that for you guys soon enough. So it's gonna be all up to you guys. 
But anyways, so yeah, I do love this product. I've never had anything like this before. And I definitely have noticed how lightweight my hair feels, especially after I blow dry. And how I use this, I will, let's say the days that I do wash my hair, I will go ahead and put the Monet leave-in conditioner. And then I'll put some of the oil, um, hair oil or serum throughout my ends. And then I will do a little bit, like maybe a dime size up to a nickel of this in my hand, rub it together and then just work it through. And that's all. So it's really simple, but you honestly see results, guys. And now I just have three more products and they are two different categories. So I'm gonna save the best for last, in my opinion. Next product is my favorite hairspray. So I'm showing this also to you guys because I cannot find it anywhere anymore. I don't know if it was discontinued or I'm just not lucky, I don't know. But this has been one of my favorite, or I would say my favorite hairspray for at least the last like four to five years. So, so it is the L'Oreal Elnet Satin Extra Stronghold Hairspray. So sadly, I only have the mini version left and this is all I have. So I've been literally trying to find this for like the last year and I don't know, like, it, I don't know. I haven't tried online, even though that would probably be like the smartest thing to do. I just don't really feel like I need to buy hairspray online, I don't know. But if you guys know if this has been discontinued or see it, please let me know. But yeah, I do love how this smells. I don't know, I'm weird. I'm very particular in how things smell. I do love scented items because I like adding a little bit of extra to myself. And I think the scent of a product is very important. And I do like how hairspray smells or to say how this hairspray smells. And it really does give a good hold without having, again, the white cast of like hairspray or just so like the flakiness it doesn't make you look like you have dandruff or anything and it doesn't leave that like crunchy look either so whenever I tease my hair or straighten it or flip it or curl it or whatever this holds it without making it look like there's actual like a lot of hairspray but yeah okay so saving the best for last I'm going to talk about my two favorite dry shampoos and I know there's been a lot of talk if dry shampoo is actually good for your hair or not, but I don't care. I personally love it, cannot live without it. And I have two, one of course a drugstore brand and the other being, you guessed it, a Monet product. But I honestly love the both of these so much. But of course I'm going to lean more towards one, but I will get started as to why. And you guys, I literally cannot live without dry shampoo. I use it every day, other than the day that I washed it. I'm drenching my hair in dry shampoo because I do like how much volume it gives to your hair and you don't have to wash your hair every day because I don't like that freshly washed look for my hair at least. But okay, so let me get started. My favorite drugstore um, dry shampoo is the, I'm sorry, I'm going to probably butcher saying this name, the Monoi, Monoi Coconut um, Dry Shampoo, but it looks like that. So I apologize once again if I did butcher this name. So my girlfriend Lo got me into this one, and I love, once again, coconut, you know. And it does do a great job. It definitely gives me a lot of volume, and it doesn't leave a lot of white residue. And I really don't feel like my hair gets greasy after I use this. So I do love it for the price and for the smell. But my absolute favorite dry shampoo at the moment would have to definitely be the um, Monet dry shampoo. And it looks like that. And what I love about this dry shampoo, of course, is the scent. It has a very fresh scent. And it also does not leave my hair greasy, oily at all, or a white residue. But I do love it does add even more volume. Yes, even more volume than your typical dry shampoo. This one does the job. And what I have heard about this specific dry shampoo is that it doesn't have propane and is not flammable. So there has been a video going around where if you spray certain dry shampoos and you light a lighter, that it will literally combust and have a flame. With this one, no. 
So that's a really comforting to know that my hair or my head will never catch on fire with using this product. I would have never even thought about that being something to even consider when buying my dry shampoo. So yeah, I guess that's a definite good thing to know and something to look out for when you are purchasing your dry shampoos or anything that comes in these um, containers. I hope you guys enjoyed my favorite hair care products video. I hope it was very informative and you know like I said these products are my personal favorite what I use on a daily basis so it may work for you it may not so not saying that this will work for everybody but for me I love them. If you guys have any questions or inquiries about the Monet products um like I said, leave comments down below, message me, email me on my business email. Till next time, guys, don't forget to subscribe if you aren't and hit that notification bell to know when I have new videos coming your way. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.